All right, so Blurvin in the uh, Steam Monster Discord posted that uh, he'd added some some more data to the uh, to the monster market, and uh, I couldn't resist making a video about it. So here is his post. Uh, you know, Steam Monsters at Blurvin monster market data sold cards. So now we're getting some real good objective data on what cards are selling for. So if you click over to the link, it takes you to this page. It's uh, it's pretty uh, minimalistic at the moment. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be adding other things, uh, but right now we've got you know date, card, rarity, whether it's gold or not, the count of how many were sold, minimum, maximum price, average price, and then the total you know, dollars changing hands. So, uh, and that's going back to the 14th, I believe. Yeah, so uh, July 14th. So we have two and a half days of data so far. So me being me, I wanted to go and take a look at the data. So I just copied and pasted the whole thing into, um, uh, into Excel here. And I created a new column called Combined Class, which is, you know, just appends a gold on the front of if it's a if it's a gold card. So uh, because you know a rare and a rare gold are two completely different things as far as the market goes. Um, and then I threw it all into a pivot table, which is here. And you can't do an average of averages; it just doesn't work mathematically. So uh, you know, got the total value, total, the sum of the total. The quantity and then you know just computed a simple average and uh, right now at least for the last two and a half days on the steam monsters market which is not all trades but it's you know a substantial portion probably um, we have commons going for almost 11 cents this is all us dollars epics at 73 gold uh let's skip the goals for a second legend rares at 36 and legendaries at 23 and then the golds, the commons are at 363, uh, rares are 1641, epics are $45, and legendaries are 357. So great, uh, we have some actual numbers that you know are at least somewhat market wide. The uh, obviously there's a lot more commons trading than anything else. And uh, amazingly, there's more gold legendaries that have traded than gold epics, which is kind of weird. But uh, otherwise, you know, it follows the normal order that we would expect based on rarity, you know, commons, then rares, then epics, then legendaries. So uh, that's all cool. And, you know, the 10 cents or 11 cents for commons was higher than I expected. So, you know, I went in and I wanted to look at, um, at why that was. And we can sort by. You can see that it's the flesh golem, the uh, silver shield warrior, crustacean king, saber shark, fire, you know, flesh golem again, rexies, and most of the commons are going for a, a lot less. But these top, you know, a ten or so, for so for whatever reason, people are snatching them up, and uh, you know, have driven the prices uh, higher. It seems. And then if we look at the rares, let's look at just rares. And we have Ulrich Stormbringer being the highest at 54 cents. Uh, actually, is that right? No. Let me clear this. So we're largest to smallest. And then we can go and look by class. Okay, so that's all the same. If we look at rares, uh, Pit Ogre, dollar forty-eight, Stone Wolm, dollar twenty, Alaric Stormbringer, eighty-two, Haunted Spirit, seventy-eight, Alaric Stormbringer, sixty-eight cents. The reason these are different is because they're on different dates: seven fourteen, seven fifteen. Um, and yeah, what'll be interesting uh, over time is to graph these out. You know by class and then by dates so we can see you know the price of rares changing and the price of you know gold epics or whatever it is um, we can see though that these top uh, what is it these top 10 let's say are 50 cents and higher all the way up to almost a dollar 50 and then the rest is you know 20 30 40 cents and then if we look at the epics 
uh, similar kind of story. We're having a few kind of outperform the rest, and then everything else is in a pretty tight spread. And well, an angel of light sold for $170. Okay. That's, that seems like a lot. Uh, I'd be interested to see, uh, you know, the actual hashes on, or the, the blocks on, on these particular trades, because that is very high. Otherwise, we're in the, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, up to 15 kind of area. And if we look at the golds, uh, from 2 up to 575. And again, flesh golem. I forget who it was that's gobbling those up, but uh, they're doing a good job of it. Let's look at gold rares. All the way from 7 to $30. It's a huge spread. And again, we're kind of seeing this, this same bifurcation in all these different groups. Okay, well, the two gold epics are in the same ballpark, at least 40 to 50. And gold legendaries, frost giant. Somebody got a steal on that one. 195. Uh, or somebody got 40, actually. Somebody paid 350, which was kind of the going rate, and somebody paid 40. That is kind of amazing. That might be uh, an error in the data where it's actually a regular frost giant, not a gold frost giant. But we'll see. Uh, you know, the more the more trades we have, then the more data we will have, and the more we can we can look. So if we go back to the total, though, $5,300 has traded hands in the last... You know, two and a half days, so that's not bad. Uh, plus, you know, whatever has been bought through packs. So we're seeing a lot of activity in Steam Monsters, which bodes well for uh, when the game actually launches. Hopefully, September. You know, that's what that's what Matt was saying in Agro. So uh, I hope they keep on track with their timeline. And uh, you know, we'll see you in the tournaments.